Hi guys, this is Divine Aaron here from Ghost and Zio uh, for part 37 of the World of Warcraft Let's Play. Uh, you just had dinner, so I've completely forgotten what I was doing in the past episode. Oh yeah, what we're doing is we're getting some um, unpopped Dark Mist eyes uh, for uh, Jal. He, um, we are in the northwestern part of um, well, the north, the as most northwestern as you could possibly get in Dustman Marsh. The uh, Dark Mist Spiders in front of this mine here uh, drop uh, 1 to 2 Dark Mist Eyes per kill. Um, they're very easy to kill, uh, give a nice amount of experience, and it's quite an easy quest to do. And um, they're not that hard, well, then they don't pose that much of a threat. So it's a good idea to just come up here and do this quest, even though it's a bit out of the way. Uh, I'm not sure if Horde can do those uh, Jarl um, quests. I assume they can, but I might be wrong. Uh, but if I am wrong, I'm sorry, you've just missed uh, some awesome quests there, because I absolutely love the, these quest lines. My favourite quest lines besides, um, well, the favourite quest lines in the uh, levelling process before Outland, at least. Uh, we're handing in our quest back at this guy here. Uh, we got an increase uh, to our necklace. I know it gives strength, but it's still better than the necklace we were currently wearing. Uh, just to note, uh, strength isn't that useful to... Um, shamans anymore since after the patch. I might be wrong, it might be still useful while you're leveling, but I know it's not as useful as it was before. We're handing in a quest to Morgan Grimsey about the Witchbane. Uh, we are we got another quest uh, to put a torch uh, on the decking here, and the reason we put a torch to the jack decking is because we're, uh, we're doing an exorcism on Jarl, because Jarl has been, uh, has a demon inside him uh, but by that uh, gargoyle there. The gargoyle is dead, we completed the quest and we got a nice chunk of experience and an increase to our belt. Uh, uh, sorry guys, my eyes are itching like mad now because of what the smoke I was having while eating my food. I was just, wow, that smoke, what was in it? I mean, we weren't even having onions and I could, I could bet my eyes are watering. They're still watering now, my eyes are completely red and swollen. Probably shouldn't be doing this let's play, I probably should be putting water on them or putting ice on them or something. That's a good idea, but I've done this now and I'm not gonna do anything against it. Uh this guy give after you hand in the uh the turtle meat to the guy in the inn, he gives you another quest. Uh, don't do that quest because you need to go to the Swamp of Sorrows. Uh so it's no other point, there's no point going all the way to the Swamp of Sorrows to do one quest. Uh so just take my advice, there's no point going all the way to Swamp of Sorrows to do one quest. It's not uh, worth the experience, basically. I know I said basically, but basically it was justified in that context. <sighs> we are on the water here because we got the we got another quest where we need to talk to this diver here, the diver we were looking for in the previous video. But we didn't have the quest for him. Now, what he wants us to find is the second-hand diving gear, and on the uh, island uh, to the back of him, where he's right next to, is the diving gear. They're all around the camp. The diving gear. The first diving gear is inside the camp, and the other one is just off the camp um, by the boats. I'll show you where that is after we've pulled a few more of these conjurers. Uh, just to note, these conjurers are very easy to kill. And there we go, that's conjurer's dead, and we're just pulling this rummager. And the rummager's dead. Oh god, my eyes are burning. Okay, we have the toolkit that we needed to get for the uh, second hand diving gear, and this is the damaged diving gear. So we've completed that quest, handed it in to him, and we get another quest. We have leveled to level 38, and we're putting a point in uh, Unleashed Rage, which increases your expertise by 3, and has a chance to increase your party's attack power by a certain amount. I think it's 26 AP. Okay, the, the quest we're doing now is called uh, recover the ta recover the cargo, which what we need to do is we need to uh, salvage uh, six strong bo uh, s strong boxes. Now to do this, what you need to do is you need to use your um, the pick given to you by the guy, and you need to cause these floating wreckages. Mine, um, click on them to mine, and you'll either get a salvage strong kit or you'll get a murloc. Now if you get a murloc, it's quite annoying because even if you kill a murloc, you don't get any experience. So it's just as best this um this part of um this quest is quite an annoying quest. Uh the reason I'm still doing this quest, even though it annoys me so much, is because the quest after this is quite awesome. 
Uh, okay. Um, for the next part of the video, I'm being an idiot because I'm trying to do the Jarl needs a blade quest to find Razor Pine because I thought Razor Pine was a Murloc on one of these islands, but he isn't. Uh, Razor Pine is actually on uh, Decimal Marsh. He's nowhere near these islands. So what I'm doing now is pulling Murlocs for no reason. Uh, but at least we get some experience from pulling the Murlocs. I think I was a bit fast there with my explaining. But yeah, there's no point of us being on these islands just for the hilarity of me doing something stupid. Or trying to find a mob that doesn't exist. Uh, we're pulling three, uh, we pull, managed to pull four murlocs at once here. I'm very lucky we actually survived here. As you notice, I went down to 185 HP. So a few more hits and I would be dead. Uh, kill all these murlocs, very easy to kill, very good to kill. And now actually log out and look. Now for this point now I log out and look to see uh, where the quest is. I know we know where the quest is, I'm being an idiot and I'm running back to where I was supposed to go in the first place. And looking for the dive, uh, salvage strong boxes. Uh, we got two salvage strong boxes now, we need four more. Uh, it, it's a low chance of getting the salvage drop, uh, strong boxes. You, 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 you will usually get a murloc. Uh, which is annoying. Murlocs keep cropping up everywhere. Uh, uh, not just the murlocs. So if you go to a certain point of the salvage of the um, wreckage, you will also find some defiers divers running around the place. Uh, kill them. They give some experience. They're not that hard to kill, and they're just being annoying. What I don't understand is the human, but they seem to have a bluish tinge to the skin, which I don't understand, but uh, maybe it's because they've absorbed so much water. Yes, I know, that's not a scientific explanation, because absorbing water does not make you blue. Uh, unless you want to try that and drink an amazing amount of water and see if you turn blue or not. Don't do that, because if you drink too much water, you will die. Uh, I'm just rambling for no reason now. Uh, okay, we got five strong, we've salvaged strong boxes now. Uh, we're killing this device diver because he just attacked us. He's dead. Uh, we got some silk cloth off him. Uh, he's still a savage. Uh, nope. A Murloc. Murloc's dead. Okay. This one better be savage strong boxes. Yeah. He's dead. And. Savage wreckage. Nope. A Murloc. What's behind salvage number one? A Murloc. What's behind salvage number two? A strong box! Yay! Okay. Nope, still a murloc. Oh god. Uh, the next one I think is definitely going to be a strong box. Uh, let's go to this one. Yep, it's the strong box. Now we can hand in this quest back to the guy. And we got ganged up on by this thing who whacked us and made us waste a water walking buff. Oh, and we managed to pull a uh, mud, mud rock just because our magma totem managed to pull it because it was an AoE effect. Yes, I do use the Magma Totem rather than the Searing Totem because I think it just does more damage. Um, we got to, we got a Dagger which we won't be using. Just, just, just we're gonna sell it. Uh, we get the continuation of the quest to talk to um, Lady Jaina Proudmore. We're not doing that now. What we're doing is we're going uh, back to the shore um, next to Witch Hill and we're gonna be looking for Razor Pine. Yes, Razor Pine is a Murloc, but he's not next to any of the other Murlocs. He's on his own, so he's a loner. Who has stolen Giles Blade? <sighs> uh, we're looking for him now. I think we do find him here. Yep, he's here. And uh, we kill him now. He's big, bigger than some of the other Murlocs. We got the Razor Pine Sword and we're going to hand it back in to Jarl now. And there we go. We hand it into Jarl. Uh, we get a ring. Uh, nothing that useful though and we've completed all the quests to do with Jarl and that swamp shack there so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be um, is we're gonna go back to Feramore now and hand in a few quests so yeah okay we're back at Feramore Isle uh, we're gonna go into the uh, this place here because this is where Lady Jane with Proudmore is present so we're gonna run up here uh, talk to her and finish the quest. Okay, uh, we, what we need to do is we need to take a griffin uh, to Alka's Island, which we will you will see a bit of it in this video, uh, but the rest will be seen in the next video. Uh, so peace out, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you liked the video.